गुड मॉर्निंग एस्पिरेंट्स सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एंसर वेरी क्रिटिकल क्वेश्चन अ वेरी पॉपुलर क्वेश्चन अबाउट द स्कॉलरशिप बींग प्रोवाइडेड इन हायर इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक आई आई टीज एन आई टीज फॉर दोज हु आर ऑप्टिंग फॉर एम एस सी और मास्टर्स कोर्सेस लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली वॉच द वीडियो टिल एंड सो दैट यू अवॉइड दोज कन्फ्यूशंस वाइल फिलिंग अप द फॉर्म्स ऑफिशियल फॉर्म्स विच आर बींग प्रोवाइडेड वाइल यू आर ज्वाइनिंग एन आई आई टी और एन आई टी so there are two types of fellowship two type of not fellowship it is in um, scholarships so two type of scholarships are being provided uh, from iits or nits first one is directly through iits that is merit ka means scholarships different iits may have a different name of this scholarship but that is basically merit ka means scholarship this is first one and the amount of this is 1000 per month that means 12000 per year iits nits very often revise this amount when i was in last semester there was a discussion in their panel in senate panel that they are going to increase that so it may increase it will not decrease okay? it may increase 12000 per year okay that is merit ka means and one is indirect scholarship that is through um, inspire fellowship many of you are a inspire fellow from your graduation level right so if you are getting um, you know inspire fellowship of 60000 per month then you can continue that fellowship you will never get two fellowship two scholarship simultaneously if you apply for merit ka means in iit and you again apply for inspire fellowship your inspire fellowship may revoke okay listen to me very carefully because in inspire fellowship when you will again apply for that scholarship in masters then there is a verification process if you are already applying for merit ka means then the verification process will get hampered and you may revoke that um, inspire fellowship if you are an inspire fellow if you want to have the inspire fellowship to be continued in masters then you have to you know you don't need to fill up the form regarding the scholarship when iit will provide you when you will join in iit iit will provide you some forms in those forms there will be one form regarding the scholarship that you want to opt it or not if you are having inspire fellowship then you should not fill up that form because it may hamper your inspire fellowship because inspire fellowship amount is higher pretty much higher merit ka means is um 12000 per year and inspire is 60000 per year right so in msc in 2 years you will be getting 120000 and i have received that that's why i know this okay so this two type of scholarships are being provided sometimes i am confusing it with fellowship it's not fellowship it's scholarship only so if you are getting inspire fellowship you don't need to fill up that scholarship form that is provided from iit which is basically merit ka means on the other hand if you are applying for merit ka means if you are not if you are not inspire fellow then you are if you are applying for that merit ka means scholarship there is an income criteria till 2023 the income criteria in iit delhi was 4 lpa as far i remember it was 4 lakh per annum it was the income criteria oh, those people which have family income total family income more than 4 lakh per annum will not going to get this scholarship again every year this thing changes these are very dynamic factors okay so when you will be joining in an iit or an nit then they will provide you the, those criteria in this scholarship form itself it will be written that what should be the criteria okay uh, i am telling you about this confusion of merit ka means and inspire because i have gone through this problem okay so finally i did not you know fill up the form of scholarship of merit ka means so that my inspire scholarship may continue and it continued and i received 60000 per year in 2 years of msc course total 1 lakh 20000 okay so these two are scholarships being provided okay i hope uh, your doubt has clarified thank you